Hi Pisces and welcome to your December 2021 general tarot forecast. This is Sky coming on to talk to you about your month ahead of December. I'm just finding your image file. Let's see. Okay. Um, so what a beautiful looking month coming up for you. I've been meditating on your energy and I have a lovely cup of coffee. I hope that you do as well. For me, I am drinking a blend of pour over coffee today. Um, I've uh, created this myself in preparation for your video to kind of meditate on your energy. And it's a mixture of a peppermint and holiday blend coffee. And it really has me feeling a certain way for your reading. So um, let's lay back and let's enjoy talking about how December could be for you in 2021. For those of you who don't know, I have Saturn in Pisces. Um, so, and that is in the eighth house for me. And I really uh, tend to resonate with Pisces readings because of that, because I guess I've become in a weird way a Saturnian kind of person as I'm so routined and regimented, um, celebrating almost uh, five and a half years of doing this content without missing a deadline. So I suppose that I am now officially a Saturnian person and Saturn in Pisces, right? Being that tarot is so spiritual and kind of so Piscean and Neptunian. Um, so I feel that that is a good channeling of my Saturn. Um, for those of you who are listening who have the Saturn in Pisces or any other placement in Pisces, you might be feeling that now too. Like, wow, look at how long I've committed to something. Look at how much I've proven to myself about follow through and about um, rising to certain occasions. Um, as I was meditating on your energy, um, for those of you who are new, firstly, I do intuitive messages and I do a week-to-week -week tarot spread. <laughs> uh, subscribe if you're new. Um, but as I was meditating on your energy, as we get into these intuitive messages, I was just kind of feeling like, you know, it's so clear what needs to go now. It's kind of like so easy in December of 2021 to just cut a few things, to just also, it doesn't have to necessarily be an output. It doesn't have to necessarily be something that you think. This can also just be cutting a kind of like tendency within yourself to overthink or to find problems where there are none. Um, we might be cutting that out in December. And then we might also be cutting out, yes, some physical energy contributions. Um, for those of you with a break in December, um, I might recommend that you get out of town, okay? Um, this is just a raw channeling, but I'm feeling that Pisces has kind of a different way to connect based on how they perceive their surrounding environments. So it would be a really good time if you have a break, perhaps to visit family, um, perhaps even better to visit friends. It feels like a very friendship, kinship oriented time for you that could help you a lot to um, understand your your situation just by going through familiarity with other people that you haven't seen in a while. So old friendships, distance, distant acquaintances feel like a good area of focus right now. And also ushering in an understanding of your own capability to get things right now. Um, no more of the, I just know I'm getting something wrong. I just know that I'm in the wrong territory. I just know that I'm not doing stuff right. Like that kind of feeling that has been really prevalent for a lot of Pisces in 2021 of just like feeling like something's off. That's going to be resolved in December. Um, how are we going to get there though? How is that resolution going to come through? Um, well, it's going to come through by acknowledging the abundance that you have now, okay? Um, so you might have a tendency to not realize the abundance that you have created. Also, as you are a previously Jupiter-ruled sign before Neptune was discovered, you might have a tendency also to... Um, not honor yourself enough with travel or not honor yourself enough with movement, mobility, um, as it feels that you might need to understand that in a new way during this time as well. And I feel that there's no real huge problem for you in December. So you have kind of this weird uh, feeling, perhaps a new feeling of just not having any crisis point or of just not having any kind of like huge thing that you have to invest so much mental energy into solving. Um, so with that, that looks like a great opportunity to level up or a great opportunity to prepare yourself for an oncoming climb. You have the moon and the empress and the judgment card reversed as your major arcana cards. 
And that says to me that you're going to be coming to a consensus, okay, about what's real in your life and what's not, like what's truly giving to you and what is taking from you. The Empress is about um, reception. The Judgment card is about a choice or a sudden wake-up call. And the Moon is about um, illusions. So combining all of those ideas together, it's like maybe having a bit of a false idea of what something really is giving you, okay? And then maybe not perhaps waking up to that. So you might overvalue your job or you might overvalue the contributions of another person in your life. Um, you might also want to pay really close attention to how thoughts kind of sneak up on you. Um, maybe you receive a text message from someone and it's very kind and you think it's from someone else and that kind of makes you realize that you perhaps have been single for too long or something. Like weird little kind of... Um, odd to navigate situations like that. And it's like, you didn't even know that you were like lonely, but by receiving this text message and not even realizing that it was from who you thought it was from, you have like maybe a peak in like, oh wow, someone's reaching out to me. I'm so excited. But then you realize it's from someone that you don't really want to, I don't know, be um, contacted by. And then it's kind of like, ugh, you know? So you, you, you can learn a lot in that peak in that like, oh, is someone reaching out to me? And then you can kind of see, okay, maybe I do need to forge some new, more positive relationships in my life. So I would, I would think about that. Okay. Um, I keep getting re a strong gut feeling about being outside of a place that you've been for a long time. So I'm sensing kind of a stagnation and I'm sure everyone has that to some degree right now, but you might feel too pressurized in your current locality, or you might feel that your current area is not a place where you can really um, exist in like a non-professional context or something. So it might be good to get out of town and to live in a more free way anonymously or something, if that's a chance or something that you could possibly do. Um, and before we get into the week to week, the last thing that I will say is that you have maybe a better surplus energetically or financially to cultivate. So um, cutting expenses, increasing income, all of that kind of stuff, whether this is financial or energetic, would be a good area of focus this month as well. Um, so, you know, it's kind of like New Year's resolutions and stuff coming in. It is going to be a good year for New Year's resolutions because we have Jupiter changing sign right at the calendar New Year. So I know that it's Christmas and Christmas tends to be expensive for a lot of people. But you might still find a way to uh, cut back even more if you can. But um, anyway, Pisces, let's talk about your week to week. So you have the Ace of Swords rooted down by the Empress in the first week of December. New ideas about reception, new ideas about attractiveness, new ideas about how you can pull in what you need in your life. That's a really beautiful area to concentrate on. I think that there's some kind of gift for you in the first week of December. I think that you might be asked out. You might... Um, also be attracting kindness from strangers and um, people could be hitting on you as well. Uh, that is possible. Also, you might come to a new idea about your love language or your thoughts or philosophies on love. We are having a total solar eclipse in that week. So something relating to the way that you pull people in or the way that people are coming into your life is going to have a kind of aha moment. Okay. Um, so you might want to really prepare for like the unexpected when it comes to other people in your life during that time. Week two, you've got the four of pentacles rooted down by uh, the moon. So you might be spending without knowing it. You might be um, also clinging in a way. So there's a call to develop more balance between how you release and then also how you hold on to. You might totally switch it up. Like if you were to look at the things that you're relinquishing in your life, money, time, energy, people, that might be something you need to hang on to more. And then if you look at the things you're grasping onto, that might be something you need to release a bit more. I feel that it's like a little bit backwards. So take a look into that in the second week. In the third week, Ace of Pentacles rooted down by Nine of Pentacles. Beautiful, beautiful luck, stability, feelings of nobility, feelings of stability. So many, so many of those feelings coming in for you. I think that that's really beautiful. You could get a lot of gifts over the holidays. You could get a bonus. You could move up in your career. You could finally understand how you want your momentum to um, move forward now. 
And I think that the universe is going to just give you something in the third week of December. Like, there's a feeling of just receiving. You know, also with the Empress in the reading as well, and the Nine of Pentacles kind of being like a minor Arcana Empress card, kind of. Um, it's like your fractal that generates your stability in life is set, and you have room to kind of move within that now, okay? Week four, you've got the Knight of Pentacles reversed, rooted down by Judgment reversed. So yeah, you've got a totally kind of unexpected wake-up call that comes through. It's like, wow, I'm not in poverty anymore. Wow, I'm not desperate for love anymore. Wow, I'm not delusional about what I need in my life anymore. I just have a clear, resonant undertaking in front of me. I have a clear knowing of how I want to move forward, and I'm not freaking out about that now. Um, so ultimately, Pisces, this entire month of December, it's going to be a short reading for you because it's not really a reading or a month where you're meant to like delve down into the deepest parts of you and figure out like what's wrong. Like it's nothing like that. It's more of just a light, easy time where you're just going to be like, okay, I get it. I understand how i got to move forward now. This isn't meant to be something very complicated, but I'm going to put together an extended reading for you all on Patreon, and we'll just have some fun over there. We'll just talk about being a Pisces in 2022, maybe, because we're about to be there. Um, so if you want to support this channel and get bonus weekly content every Saturday, as well as all the readings early, ad-free, and extended, you can click the center of your screen and um, find it below in the description as well. So let's go and do that now. Much love, Pisces. Have a great month. Bye.